What is quality? It's easy to see, but difficult to define. If I ask you whether these cookies are high quality, you could probably think of several meaningful metrics by which to measure them. Unless your CMS and quality literally means value. In order to improve quality, we need to know how to define it. And often that begins by asking the right questions and setting the right goals. This is often facilitated by creating a goal statement using the SMART framework. Specific. Goals should be as specific as possible. Often this involves answering questions like who, what, where, when, and why. Take a look at this goal. Sure, this is uh, aspirational, but what does this even mean? And who defines it? And how is it defined? Contrast that with this goal. This comes across as less vague and generic, and hopefully it makes sense to anyone who reads it. Measurable. Goals need to be measurable. If not, it's impossible to know whether you're making progress toward your goal and whether you've actually achieved it. Contrast these two metrics. One of these is measurable, and the other is uh, vacuous. Attainable. Goals need to be attainable, which means that they should be reasonable and feasible. Sure, it's aspirational to get certain performance metrics down to 0% or up to 100%, but this ignores the fact that no one is perfect and that people are going to make mistakes from time to time, and that in spite of all your training and data collection, you probably still have a flawed and incomplete understanding of the true nature of the problem, oh you sweet, naive child. Relevant. Is your goal worthwhile? Is it consistent with your other goals and values? Does it align with your short-term and long-term plans? Safety is always important at the nursing home, so yeah, this sounds like a relevant goal. In contrast, this goal... <sighs> Timely. Constraining your goal within a deadline establishes a sense of urgency and helps to keep you accountable. Of note, this should be balanced with making your goal attainable. Now, some of you may be asking, isn't this just the when in specific? And to that I say... Wait, hold on. Jimmy, this acronym is literally supposed to make me look smart, and I look like a buffoon out there. Wait, what do you mean that's the point? A few caveats and warnings. As the saying goes, you get what you measure. Let's say that we decrease the number of falls in the nursing home down to zero. Wow, that's great. But what if you achieve that by physically restraining all the patients to their beds? That's not quality. Remember that many of the things that we're able to measure are surrogate measures of quality rather than quality itself and shouldn't be viewed in isolation. Some of you will also point out the absurdity of our obsession of quantifying quality when quality is inherently qualitative in nature. The fundamental patient-centered question that we're trying to answer in the nursing home is, are you satisfied with the care that you're receiving? Is it your natural inclination to answer that question with a number? There's a growing sense that chasing after all these quality measures merely adds more administrative burdens and imposes a one-size-fits-all model of care onto nursing homes without having meaningful impacts. And it's widely acknowledged that there's more to life than just meeting quality metrics. After all, you don't measure your life's worth by quality metrics, do you? So to all this criticism of quality improvement, I say... <laughs> My job sucks, I hate it!